Hey guys, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. I am here today to do another tutorial for you. Um, so let's see how it goes. I was asked by Pramita to do a tutorial on how I did these little embellishments up here. And so I will do a tutorial. I will try to. And if you haven't checked out Pramita's page, uh, her YouTube channel, I will put it down below. She makes gorgeous, um, what are they called? Traveler's Notebook. Um, well, she makes inserts. She does beautiful watercolor florals. She does um, just gorgeous journals. Just gorgeous. So check her out. Here comes Fred. <coughs> so sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, what these things are, these are called yo-yos. Okay. They're also called something else. Suffolk puffs, I think. And I've never made them before, but my dear friend Jerry Bellini had mentioned them the other day and I had no idea what she was talking about. And um, also, if you haven't checked out Jerry's page, go or her YouTube channel, I will link it below as well and go over and check her out. She is super cute and she does all kinds of beautiful, beautiful artwork. So go, please go over there and check her out as well. So she had mentioned these yo-yos and of course got me intrigued. Um, so I went down the rabbit hole of YouTube and searched uh, yo-yos, uh, fabric yo-yos and how to make them. So what I decided to do, you can do a lot of things with these yo-yos too. You can, I mean, they are addictive. I, Jerry was just saying last night that they're addictive. And yes, they are. Um, there are a lot of things you can do with them. You can sew them together um, to make table runners. People have made bedspreads for crying out loud. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what I decided to do, because I'm in the whole happy mail mode, is try to make some embellishments that I could send in happy mail. So I made them a bit smaller. Now there, are, here's what I used, okay? Well, I guess we'll start with that. I have a template here. It's about a two and three eight uh, inch circle, okay? And I just made it out of file folder so that I can then put it on my fabric, draw the circle and cut it out, okay? Um, I got these, this is a stack, this is what it's called. I got it at Walmart. It was anywhere between $4 and $6. I can't really remember, but you get a load of coordinating, you know, fabrics. Super cute and super springy because we're heading into spring here. So, um, so fabric you need, oh wait, you need a pair of fabric scissors. Um, it is important that you use fabric scissors just for your own sanity, okay? Because if you try to use paper cutting scissors, you're just gonna get frustrated. So, and if you do, just a little tip, if you do get fabric scissors, make sure you mark them so that, I don't know, other people in your house that are looking for a pair of scissors do not grab the fabric only ones. Okay, so you need scissors. I'm using, to for thread, I'm using hand quilting thread because that's just um, what I have. And uh, it's a bit stronger than regular cotton thread. So I'm using that. I'm using paper clips, which I just got at, um, you know, I had them uh, from the office supply store. And they're the bigger ones, you know, they're they're not the little ones. Let's see how big they are. Oh, about two inches. Yeah, about two inches. So I'm using those. I'm also using Aileen's Tacky Glue and I got some fabric, Aileen's um, Fabric Fusion. Okay, it's like fabric glue. Uh, I'll have to tell you what I learned in this process, okay? When I first started making them, I made the little yo-yo, right? And then I just put um, an enamel dot that I had made years ago uh, on either side, okay? So I did it so that it's two-sided, all right? Here's the problem with that. When you go to put it in an envelope, it's super bulky, so it's not gonna work, right? These I'll have to give out like in a package or give away or use them myself, I don't know. So then what I thought I should do, um, oh, and I also, these are enamel dots that I used, and these here are just buttons from my stash that 
I took some embroidery floss, okay, um, and just tied a cute little knot in the middle there just to add a little bit of color, okay? Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. What I would have done would be to take this like this, right, with the paper clip and glue it here with the fabric glue and then stick another one on top of this, okay? So sandwich it together and there you have it, right? Again, I'm not going to be doing that any longer uh, for Happy Mail because it's just way too thick. This is literally like a half an inch thick. And so to put that in an envelope, it's just a no-go for mailing. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, so let's see. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, I also learned that the fabric glue does not work on the enamel dots, nor does it work on the buttons. So in order to glue those on, you need tacky glue or some other kind of strong adhesive. Okay. So you take your fabric, okay, and you cut out your circle. I, I am no expert in this. This is the first time I'm, you know, I've ever tried doing these. And I'm sure there are a plethora of videos on YouTube. Well, obviously there are because I went down that rabbit hole. So um, I watched so many though that I can't really link like a specific one that I watched. Um, but there are a lot out there and they're super easy to make. So you take your circle and you hold it... Um, what's this called? The back side, you know, here's the front side of the fabric. Here's the back side of the fabric. So let's see if I can show you how to do this without hurting myself. Okay. So you tie a knot in the end of your, um, thread. Okay. You start on the edge about like a quarter of an inch. Whoops. Here I am about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Okay and you start on the inside because that's where you're gonna want your knot, all right? Again, I'm no expert. I'm just doing this the way that I saw how to do it. Some people, like if they're using a bigger circle, they turn their edge over a quarter of an inch and start sewing that way. But because I'm putting a little, you know, enamel dot or a button in the center, it doesn't matter what the center looks like, okay? So you start with it in the center like that. Okay, let me see if I could do this. Okay. And then you just do, I think what they call a running stitch. So you basically just go in and out, in and out. Okay. All along the edge. Okay. And of course, I had none prepared to show you for when it's done. So you're going to have to stick it out with me doing it this way. My hands are a bit shaky. Oh, criminy. My hands are a bit shaky this morning, but we'll get through it. Um, okay, so I really hope you can see this. So, yep, you just, whoops, let's not get any blood on the fabric, Elizabeth. So, yep, you just keep going. In some of the videos that I saw too, like um, with the bigger circles, you know, they went in and out um, around the edge of the circle, um, you know, with a bigger stitch, but so, but I'm just doing it this way. Okay. Once I get it like gathered up a little bit like that, I just pull the needle through. And I'm just using, I think it's a regular needle. Yeah, it's just a regular needle. Okay, so we're going to go back. And we're just going to continue doing a running stitch about, you know, like I said, about a quarter of an inch, or an eighth of an inch. Let's call it that. Let's call it about an eighth of an inch. I mean, you don't want to get too close to the edge because you have... Um, you know, the edge of the fabric and it will fray. Whoops. <laughs> Let's get in frame. Okay. So we just keep going around and around and around. It really only takes a few minutes. Okay. So we're going to keep going. Okay. 
Let's see here. Almost done. Almost done. Okay. Now we are back to our knot. Golly day. I'm sorry. We're back to our knot right there. Okay. So come up back through your knot or around that area anyway. Go back down through. Okay. And then you want your needle on the outside. I don't know why. You just do. And so then what you do is you take it and you just squeeze it. Like you just pull the thread, okay? And then you come up with this little bubble thing. And then all you do is you flatten it out, okay? And here's the other side. That's what that looks like, okay? So you pull, you know, your string tight. And then like, you know, if it's not um, gathered enough for you or whatever, then you can always take your needle and kind of poke it through and pull, you know, pull the fabric out if that's what you want to do, okay? So you pull this all tight, okay? I know there's like a specific way to do this, but I don't do anything specifically. I do it the easiest way I know how. So I just go in here through a couple of the puckers, whatever they're called, and I just make a simple knot, okay? And then I do it again. Not going through the other side, like don't go through the other side, okay? And then I make another, another knot, okay? And then I clip it, okay? And there you have it, right? Now, see here, like there are a couple of little um, of the pleats or puckers or I don't know what they're called that aren't puckered enough for me, right? So you can take your needle and just carefully, you know, go around it and, you know, tug on it a little bit and that'll like cause more pleats to come up, I guess. So, and then you just kind of manipulate it so that this mess in the middle <laughs> is in the middle okay so you do that now for the center like I said you can either take a button right you could take a button and you can string some embroidery floss through it just to give it more color if you want or I have these enamel dots that I made oh gosh a long while back um see they're made from pony beads okay that I stuck in the oven Okay, so you just take your dot, right? And you take your Aileen's Tacky Glue. And, whoops, without getting glue on yourself, just wipe that on your shirt. <laughs> oh, it's early in the morning. I'm st I still haven't had all my coffee. Okay, so you've got that, right? Now, here's also what I learned in not doing them two-sided, okay? Because, again, they're too thick for uh, mailing, right? But what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to the store, hopefully very soon, and I'm going to get some felt. So what I would do is uh, cut out about an inch circle because when you're... Where's my ruler? Because when you're done with these little... Um, with these yo-yo things, they're about one inch, well, an inch and an eighth maybe across. So I would cut out about an inch piece of felt. I don't have any with me right now. And then I would use, whoops, sorry for my reach. I would use my fabric glue, okay? And I would put this on here like this, right? put a dollop of glue right here, then put my um, felt piece on top and sandwich those together, okay? That way, that is thin enough, I think, to go into an envelope safely for mailing, okay? And then you, of course, can use these in your little, you know, journal, okay? Let's see if I can do this here. Okay? So there you have it. I mean, how cute is that, right? 
So thank you, Jerry, again. You are just, you're just a treasure trove of ideas, girl. So yeah, I had so much fun making these last night. They are super easy. They're not very expensive to make, you know, um, because like I said, you get all this fabric, you know, for I think at most $6, all right? Um, and you can find these uh, cute little stacks either at Walmart or at, um, what, what's that other place? Joanne Fabrics has them, like, you know, quilting squares, you can do that. Oh my gosh, I have so many ideas for these things. And you can make them bigger. Like, some of the, um, uh, the ladies that I was watching, they were using um, CDs as their template. So, it's... You know, you do a big circle, and then um, for those, I would turn over the edge. But since this is just a short, well, relatively speaking, tutorial, I just wanted to get the basics down for you. So, yeah, you just, you cut out your circle, right? You turn it so that it's upside down, and then you begin your knot on, uh, you know, the inside, and then you just do a running stitch, just in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, all the way around, okay? When you're done, you pull the string taut, and it bunches everything up, and then you kind of just flatten it out, right? And then you um, cover up that little messy spot in the middle with a uh, an enamel dot or a button if you want. So really adorable, really adorable embellishment. You can even just leave them like this and stick them in your journal because even though there's an enamel dot, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Or you could just simply use felt, you know, like cut out a small circle of felt and put that on and that would make it a little less bulky too if you wanted to just glue them right into your book. So there you have it, Pramita. I hope that that, um, explained how to make these. Uh, again, I'm no expert. This is the first time I'm doing them. So uh, they are super fun and very relaxing to do. So I hope you try it out. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.